Scientists have come across a mysterious signal from a galaxy far, far away. We are on a collision course with our nearest large galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way. We are on a collision course in mutual descent towards our neighboring large galaxy, Andromeda. The universe is expanding, pushing the galaxies inside it apart like raisins in rising bread dough. This indicates that one day in the far future, those who live in our galaxy will not be able to spot any other galaxies visible in the night sky. That doesn't imply galaxies in close proximity don't interact. The Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies interact gravitationally with one another, just as Earth's gravity would tug on a nearby asteroid, setting it on a collision course with our planet. Because of this, the two galaxies are now approaching each other at a speed of around 37 miles per second. Does this mean the two galaxies will crash into each other? What will become of mankind if this happens? In this video, we delve into scientists' shocking revelation that the Andromeda galaxy is already crashing into our own galaxy. If you look up into the northern night sky between Cassiopeia's W asterism and the great square of Pegasus, you will find the constellation Andromeda. The star pattern was dubbed after the Greek hero Perseus's wife, the fabled princess Andromeda. The constellation was initially catalogued in the 2nd century by the Greek astronomer Ptolemy, and it is also known as Chained Maiden, Persia or Cepheus. The Andromeda constellation is also home to various other deep sky objects. Andromeda is positioned outside the galactic plane and does not include any Milky Way clusters or nebulae. However, it does contain other observable galaxies. The most well-known of these galaxies is, of course, the Andromeda Galaxy, which gets its name from the large constellation. It is one of the most well-known objects in the sky visible with the naked eye. Our closest neighbouring galaxy is also known as Messier 31 or M31. The name was inspired by Charles Messier, a French astronomer who catalogued the massive galaxy. A light year is a popular unit of measurement in astronomy, but some astronomers prefer to use a unit called the parsec. They use kiloparsecs, which are equal to 1,000 parsecs, and megaparsecs, which are equal to 1 million parsecs, when referring to something larger. The Milky Way galaxy spans around 100,000 light years, or 30 kiloparsecs. This may seem large, Yet in comparison to other galaxies, it is quite small. The Andromeda galaxy has a diameter of around 220,000 light years, which is more than double that of the Milky Way. It is the most massive galaxy in the local cluster. Even though it is located a great deal further away, the Andromeda galaxy would appear considerably larger than the moon in the sky if it were sufficiently bright. The galaxy is 2.5 million light years from Earth, but the Moon is just 384,400 kilometres, 238,900 miles away. This should give you a better idea of how large the galaxy is. The Milky Way is believed to have between 100 billion and 400 billion stars, but the Andromeda Galaxy has roughly 1 trillion. As part of that 1 trillion, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope discovered a vast and uncommon population of hot, brilliant stars. However, a major war between the Andromeda Galaxy and our own is on the horizon. The Andromeda Galaxy is travelling at 400,000 kilometres per hour, 250,000 miles per hour toward the Milky Way, which is fast enough to circle the Earth in six minutes. Gravity can accomplish some pretty amazing things in the universe. When the invisible force isn't ensuring the downward course of your spilled coffee directly into your shirt here on Earth, it's tinkering with cosmic matter crushing gas and dust into dazzling new stars, smoothing clumpy rocks into spherical planets, and smushing entire galaxies together. Gravity pulls galaxies toward one another, sometimes two, sometimes more, until they collide, their contents whooshing and mingling, and the slow-moving turmoil forms them all into one giant galactic ball. Such events, known as mergers, have been witnessed by astronomers at practically every stage of the process. The galaxies are crowded together early on, as if they've convened for a very important space meeting, in the thick of it when gravity has begun to stretch them out of their original shapes. At the end, when what remains is a messy sphere, by then the only sign that a merger once occurred is a faint shimmer of stellar material around the orb. 
The news about the Andromeda Galaxy came from Project Amiga, which employs the Hubble Space Telescope to study the Andromeda Galaxy's surroundings in deep space. Amiga is an abbreviation for Absorption Map of Ionized Gas in Andromeda. NASA described it as the most comprehensive study of a galaxy's halo. The Andromeda Galaxy, our Milky Way, and other galaxies are all surrounded by a huge envelope of gas, dust, and stray stars known as a galactic halo. The halos of galaxies are faint, so faint that detecting them is difficult. The halo of the Andromeda Galaxy was measured by looking at how much light it absorbed from background quasars. Scientists were shocked to discover that the halo of the Andromeda Galaxy extends far beyond its observable boundaries. It does in fact reach half the distance to our Milky Way, 1.3 million light years, and even further in other directions, up to 2 million light years. Therefore, does this indicate that the halos of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies are in contact with one another? It turns out that we can't simply measure the properties of our galaxy's halo from our vantage point inside the Milky Way. On the other hand, due to the fact that the two galaxies are so comparable to one another in terms of both their size and their appearance, astronomers believe that the halo of the Milky Way would also be similar. In other words, the faint halos of the galaxies appear to have begun to touch one another. Thus, in a sense, the collision between our two galaxies has already started. How would the Andromeda merger appear then? Back in 2012, NASA shared some images with the public. They are artist renditions of what people on Earth might see as the Andromeda galaxy approaches us. The images are based on meticulous Hubble Space Telescope measurements of the Andromeda Galaxy's speed, as well as computer models of the two galaxies' imminent collision. In addition, a series of studies published in 2012 revealed that, rather than glancing off each other, our Milky Way Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy will merge to form a single large elliptical or football-shaped galaxy. In February 2022, Roland van der Marle, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute told Discover magazine, whether it's a full-on collision or more of a glancing blow doesn't really affect the end result. However, the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy will not be the only ones involved in this merger. The other large galaxy in our local group of galaxies, that is M33, aka the Triangulum Galaxy, will also play a role. Although the Triangulum Galaxy is unlikely to join the merger, it may collide with our Milky Way at some point while engaging in a spectacular cosmic dance with the two larger galaxies. When these galaxies collide, what happens to stars and planets? Throughout the universe, galaxies collide with one another. Astronomers use sophisticated telescopes to observe galactic collisions or their aftermaths. In some ways, when two galaxies combine, they are like ghosts, they just pass through each other. This is due to the vast distances between stars within galaxies. As a result, when galaxies merge, stars often do not collide. Nonetheless, the merger will have an impact on the stars of both the Andromeda Galaxy and our own Milky Way. A trillion stars make up the Andromeda Galaxy. Meanwhile, the Milky Way has approximately 400 billion stars. Both galaxies' stars will be pushed into new orbits around the newly combined galactic center. Although the galaxies will collide, the stars within each galaxy are so far apart that they will not clash with other stars. The stars, however, will be hurled into various orbits around the new galactic center. Simulations reveal that our solar system will be thrown much further away from the galactic center than it is now. According to the 2012 study, it is likely that the sun will be flung into a new region of our galaxy, but our Earth and solar system are not in danger of being destroyed. Will mankind witness the Andromeda merger? How about life on Earth? Will life on Earth survive the merger? In around 7.5 billion years, the Sun will become a red giant, increasing in size and consuming the Earth. But even before that, the Sun's luminosity or inherent brightness will rise. This will occur over a period of around 4 billion years. The Earth's surface temperature will rise as solar radiation reaching the planet increases. We may have a runaway greenhouse effect similar to what is already happening on Venus. As a result, there's a strong chance that earthly life won't exist when the merger is completed. 
However, by that time, some Earthlings may have become spacefaring. Maybe we'll have abandoned Earth and our solar system. We may still see Andromeda colliding with the Milky Way, albeit from a slightly different angle. It was previously uncertain whether the far future encounters would be a miss, a glancing blow or a head-on collision. This depends on M31's tangential motion. Despite attempts stretching back more than a century, astronomers had not been able to measure M31's sideways velocity in the sky. The Hubble Space Telescope team, directed by Van der Marl, made exceptionally precise measurements of M31's sideways motion, removing any doubt that it is destined to smash and merge with the Milky Way. This was accomplished by repeatedly observing selected regions of the galaxy over a five to seven year period, Jay Anderson explained. In the worst case scenario simulation, M31 slams into the Milky Way head on and the stars are all scattered into different orbits, said Gertina Besler of Columbia University in New York. The stellar populations of both galaxies are jostled and the Milky Way loses its flattened pancake shape with most of the stars on nearly circular orbits. The galaxy's cores merge and the stars settle into randomized orbits to create an elliptical shaped galaxy. The bottom line is an Andromeda merger has already begun and the two spiral galaxies will form one giant elliptical galaxy in about 4 billion years. Let us know what you think about this merger in the comments section below.